Uh, do you feel uh, what, what other what other um, how much of it was scripted? Did you use a teleprompter, no. or did they memorize their lines or use a? They had memorized because we don't have a teleprompter. And we okay. Tried to, tried to use, and they read them, and then they tried to memorize them. Okay. Tell them by line, but like interpret. Uh huh. Sure. Yeah, something like that. Mm -hmm. Are you in the in that particular case? Does the post production involve um, the addition of any graphics or yeah, we're what kind of material? Yeah, we're Go ahead. I see. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Great. And then was that what? Was there one more group, or was that it? Okay. All right. Well, I'll tell you, just I'll, I'll talk for a couple minutes here and tell you kind of about the way our classes are structured here at Concordia in terms of production. Uh, we have a, a, a basic television production course that's called just called media production. And the students who take that, um, it's their, for many of them, their first experience with any, what we would call anything uh, that we would call visual narrative. So, Storytelling, whether it's fiction or nonfiction, um, kind of understanding basic camera operation um, and basic post production. And they make four projects during the semester and they make them with a partner, but each project they work with a different partner. Um, if there's an uneven number of students in the class, we have one group of three, but it's a small class. There are usually um, 14 or 15 students in that class. And, uh, and some of them come from high schools or backgrounds where they have a lot of experience editing or producing video. And other students come in and it's, it's honestly the very first time that they've ever um, interacted with uh, this kind of technology. So they, they don't conceptually even know what editing is. And so we, we start kind of with the fundamental principles of basic camera operation and linking that to post-production through best practices, I guess we would say, in terms of shooting. You know, what kind of coverage? How much do you shoot? Um, how do you, even if you're doing um, non-fiction, we talk about the ways that um, composition and matching action and continuity all inform the, you know, the process of gathering the best possible looking shots. How, how many of you, um, is this a, an intermediate class, an advanced class? Have you taken a lot of courses already in production? Where are you in your, are you all majors in media and, and production oriented? It's an advanced class. It's an advanced class. Yeah, it's an, it's this is an advanced class, yeah. It's an advanced class, but we haven't had like a lot of practice doing it. Mm -hmm. Because we have an, a, other subjects, materials, mm -hmm. subjects, mm -hmm. and we have like, we have some tools, of radio and like we have different, we right. have different, but we we know how to do it. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm